Welcome back everyone. Um, got the part three. In this video, we're going to be adding a few animations and stuff that actually make the game look nice um, because right now it looks pretty shit. Um, it doesn't look very good. Um, it does not look like a game at all, right? Like you can play it and it works kind of, but it doesn't look very good. It doesn't look real. There's no like line in between or anything. So we're, we're gonna do stuff like that. Um, so first off, um, I'm going to add a panel. Um, I'm going to put it in between the hook and the panel, or the hook and the, the player, sorry. And this is going to get a little tricky um, because I actually got these margins and everything um, on my other project, on my reference. So I'm going to get you to just copy what I'm doing, essentially. <laughs> so these are the margins you want. 25, 0, 28, 20, and 46. All right, I'm going to keep it open. Then in the rectangle, position doesn't matter. Size. Does the size matter? I don't think so. No, it doesn't matter. Um, no, size, size and position doesn't matter. No, position matters. Keep it at 25 and 0. Um, next up, we're going to go into the theme override. This is the important part. So we're going to do style box. And in this style box, this is the important part. We're going to go into color BG. And the color of it is 167, 172, and 186. So this is the exact same color as the actual rod. And then we're also going to add border. We're going to do one on the left and one on the right. And so now you can see it has borders on the left and right. And the border color is going to be, let me check on my reference, going to be 37, 19, and then 26. And now it has the exact same color as the rod. You can kind of move it over, actually. So I guess 26. There you go. And you can edit anything you want, but this is the same color as the rod, just to make it look nice. Um, but yeah, so now what we can do is, hold on, let me double check. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a process in the main scene. And this is what this is going to do is I'm going to check or I'm going to get the uh, string. Oops. Huh. Oh, I didn't uh, rename it to string. That's why. I'm going to rename this to string. And then I'm going to get the string. And I'm going to set its rectangle uh, size dot y. So this is the, the size, it, but you have to say rectangle size because that's just how the panel works. Then we're going to get node uh, hook. Yeah, we're just going to get the regular hook. And we're going to get its global position dot y and minus 72.5 or 62.5. Uh, this might not work too well. We're going to have to try it and see what happens. Yeah, OK, so I have to change it just slightly. Um, I'm going to keep this open on my other screen. Uh, let's do 30. And then let's try again. OK, no, so I have to do plus, I think. OK, my bad, not minus. I think it might be 115, actually. Yeah, OK, I think it's 115. Yeah, so now our hook is connected to our line. So now it looks a bit more real. Awesome. Now we have a basically working game. Now we're going to add water and stuff. So this, um, I might, I think I'm going to link this also in the description below. Um, I think I'll have everything linked below that I used. But this guy is going to need a shader. So for this shader, I'm going to find it. Uh, I'll put it in my fishing assets as well. Um, I'm going to get the water shader. 
So I'll link this in the description where you can find it. There's another YouTuber who made this. Um, so I'm going to make sure to reference him. I don't know his name, but yeah, get his stuff. It's really good. Um, and yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate this. I'm going to go into material. I'm going to drag this guy in. And now it should be invisible. Um, Ooh, you know what? I'm just going to use this as the icon instead because I don't know. Why not? And then for these, I'm going to set them. I played a lot with it. I'm going to set it to well, blue, obviously. And then this will be one, three. And I might change the color of this a bit lighter. I actually use the exact same one as I used before. So seven, one, one, five, and then two, one, two, ten. All right, and then I'm just going to make it bigger. And now, looks like we have water. Bam. And I just caught two at a time. That's how good I am. Awesome. Now we have water. Um, we're also going to add a few other things. So let's make background. So for the background, um, no, sorry. I'm actually going to finish the the hooks here. So first of all, I'm going to make this invisible just so it's not distracting. And then I'm going to search up peer. So the peer, you're going to have to make it. Uh, I, I separated these two hooks into its own objects. So you're going to have to do that on your own. Um, but yeah, so if you didn't, that's OK. You can just skip this step. Um, yeah, I'm just going to add these. So that way it goes all the way to the bottom. Yeah, and I'm just going to duplicate this like four times. And now if I, if I run it, it looks like our thing is actually standing on water. Very cool. Um, what else? Now, there's also another asset pack, um, which I link, or I did link, hopefully which is the backgrounds. So I'm going to do that as well. So if I go to Perilax background, that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to call this BG. I'm going to save this. I'll save it in the main scene, uh, BG. And then we're also going to add, ah, uh, yeah, it's double R. I know it's not, but I'm going to add this. And then in our background, I'm going to add, I'm going to actually duplicate this twice. I'm going to go into PNG. Ooh, no, this is the wrong one. Or no, it's not. It's C background, sorry. C background. And then I'm going to add this into this, this into this, and then this into this. Let me actually foreground. I had the, the second one. And mid ground. Mid ground, yeah. OK, this is the order I had it in. Now I'm actually going to copy the settings I have. So I had the scale all set to one. So a neat trick is actually if I select something and I control, I can select each thing and then I can change them all, which obviously I don't have to because it's all this. And I'm actually going to see it set all these to zero and then change the offset to off. Now I'm actually going to change that again because I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to move it to the left. So that way it looks like it's right next to it. Same thing here. Move this to the left. Same thing for this guy. I'm going to move it to the left. And then what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to match the 
transformation for these guys, which is going to be this and then this. There's going to be a reason for that. However, for now, this is fine. And then I'm going to change this to that, and then this to minus 58. Yeah. And then this guy is going to be minus 5 and minus 46.333. And this guy will be minus 46.3. Oh. 8.3. So it's not going to be minus, it's actually going to be plus. I think this one's also going to be the same, actually. <clears throat> and then minus 4.333. And this one is going to be the same. 0.333. This one's going to be minus 5. All right, and now what I'm actually going to do I'm going to switch, not switch, I'm going to change the one, the scale, the x scale of the motion to 1.2. And this guy, I'm going to change it to 1.6. And then for the mirroring, for the third one, it's going to be this. I don't know, sorry, actually, all of them are just going to be. Okay, and then, sorry, I'll see if I can cut that out of the video, I guess. Now, what I can do is I can drag this guy in, put this in the middle, and its position will be this. And it's going to be centered, or it's going to, yeah, it's going to be centered, so leave it centered. That's going to be its position for now. Um, and then I'm also going to add a panel. The panel I'm going to make the panel minus five, minus three, eight, eight, seven, and then five, three, seven. Whoops, that is very big. Is that? Why is it that big? I don't know. Um, for this, I do this and this. Where did? Okay. I... Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Theme override. We're gonna have to change the color of it because it obviously doesn't look very good. Uh, sorry, I also want to change this behind everything. Um, for the color, I'm going to match it so that it's the bottom of the C. So the color that I got was 2, 154, and 2.15. So now it kind of matches the bottom. And that's kind of it for that. But now, if I close the shark, Add the background to the top over here. And then I can obviously delete this guy because I don't need it anymore. Now if I play, you can kind of see some of it. Now, <clears throat> I want to actually do one more thing. Sorry, I forgot about this. In the background, I'm going to scale it to 0 0.6 and 0 0.6. I'm also going to add a script for it. And in the script, what we're going to do is we're going to have a scrolling speed. So variable scrolling speed equals to, let's do 40 is fine. And then we're going to have a function for process. Process. Then we're going to do scroll offset dot x. Minus equal scrolling 
speed times delta. And now, now if I run the main scene, it looks a lot better. However, it's all off, so I have to change that. Now to do that, I just go, this is pretty simple. And this is kind of up to you. Um, but I'm going to use the coordinates that I use for my reference, which is just going to be 103 for the Y. And now everything's a lot lower. But for this guy, for this project, I'll actually do it a bit lower. I'm going to put it right around there. Yeah, that looks fine. But now I have a completely working game that looks pretty nice. And I can even catch fish. All right, I'm going to end it there um, because we've made the game look a lot better, even though we haven't done that much. Um, it does look a lot better. I'll add a few things for next time. Um, and then, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Like the video if you didn't. And like the video if you did. Thanks.